thank you for using this on-demand webinar to learn more about the application process and the AGLI governance leadership, what to expect. I'm Donna Ponapento, AGLI Governance Committee Chair from the Junior League of Tacoma. And I'm Cynthia Foster, AGLI Governance Vice Chair from the Junior League of San Francisco. And I'm Nancy Scarlato, Governance Committee at Large member from the Junior League of Philadelphia. Let's introduce the rest of the 2015-16 Governance Committee. There's Sherry Boyle, Junior League of Panama City Beach, Florida, Anne Marie Colombo, Junior League of Douglas County, Georgia, Betsy Conway, Junior League of Charlotte, North Carolina, Jeannie D. Kine, Junior League of Arlington, Texas, Gwen Londrigan, Junior League of Clearwater, Dunedin, Florida, Whitney Wilson Wirtz, Junior League of Charlotte, North Carolina, and Susan Danish, AGLI Executive Director. This is the second of two on-demand webinars. We will also offer a live webinar at 8 p.m. on Tuesday, July 28th. The link to that session is available on the governance pages and on the governance group share page. The governance committee has one mission, to slate the best possible team. Sometimes it's like being a chemist or baking a cake. We are looking at the correct mix. Regarding application and screening, what we see is what we get. A complete application is critical. When we screen applications, we are only looking at the information that you provide. We encourage you to have a copy of the 2015 online application and instructions on hand. We will be referencing that document throughout this session. The Governance Committee has streamlined the application process over the years. Please review the entire application packet to learn about preparing your application, the leadership competencies, and important information about the positions being slated. Once you have read through the application, considered your available time, and decided to apply, you should do these things before you begin to fill out the online forms. Write a cover letter, prepare your resume according to the application instructions, write your competencies. Once you have completed your prep work, cover letter, resume, and your write-up on two competencies, you are ready to begin submitting your application. Please be sure to read all instructions, as you cannot go back to work on the section at a later time. Please make sure that you give yourself enough time to complete the application and make sure that you have all of the sections complete. We encourage all applicants to submit their applications in advance. Please note, it is your responsibility to confirm timely receipt of your completed application. Incomplete applications which are received on August 31st, the deadline date, will not be processed. Let's review a very broad calendar of the timeline and process. Summer, Recruitment Outreach Application Info. Monday, August 31st, Applications Due. September, screen applications. October, interview candidates, references. November, slate selection. December, slate presented to junior leagues. Spring annual meeting, election. Once the governance committee has concluded its screening process, we will notify applicants if they are invited for the next phase of the process the interview. Notification in October and scheduled by staff. The interview uses behavior-based questions. For preparation, we encourage applicants to review your application and resume and think of experiences that correlate to the competencies. The Governance Committee will host an on-demand webinar for candidates selected for interviews in the fall. The Governance Committee also checks references. One league reference, one external reference, someone who can speak to your work in the community or in your work. Interviews will happen at the same time as candidate interviews. 
We encourage candidates to prepare their references by providing your resume an AJLI Governance Competency Library. Let's review some tips when considering applying for an AJLI Governance position. Carefully consider your available time for governance service. We ask those slated to make the association their primary volunteer commitment. Carefully read through the application instructions. Prepare your cover letter, resume, and competency submissions before going online to submit. Fully complete each section in one session. You cannot go back and work on it at another time. Don't wait until the last minute. Thank you, Nancy. Now we will move to HLI Board and Governance Committee, what to expect. Let's take a look at the open board positions in red that the Governance Committee will be slating for election in 2016. We have Vice President, Secretary, Governance Vice Chair, and three at-large positions. Board of Directors. Please refer to pages 16 and 17 of the instructions under responsibilities. The key responsibility of the board is to govern the association effectively and to provide leadership that inspires the junior leagues to achieve the mission. The board is accountable to the leagues for the development of goals that enhance the league's ability to fulfill the junior league mission. The board also ensures that AGLI staff provide services to leagues that support those established goals. Specifically, the AGLI board sets the vision for the organization and plans strategically for the future. Unlike much of the work of the board of a local junior league, which is focused on both governance and management of their league, the AGLI board's role is strictly to govern the association. Again, referring to pages 16 and 17 under responsibilities, the board exercises its governing role in three primary ways. Linkage with the junior leagues or members of the association, developing and monitoring policies and organizational goals, oversight and evaluation of the executive director to whom the board delegates the authority, and responsibility for accomplishing organizational goals. The board members' responsibilities are to attend all board meetings and conference calls, come prepared, participate on a board committee, and make an annual financial contribution. The HLI board meets five times a year. There are three standalone board meetings in June, December, and March. Additionally, the board holds shorter meetings while in attendance at the HLI Fall Leadership Conference and at Annual Conference. Standalone board meetings are two to three days in length. The board also conducts telephone meetings as scheduled by the executive committee. While extenuating circumstances may arise, it is expected that board members will attend all meetings. Please refer to page 19 of the application packet for more detailed information regarding board commitments. As outlined in the association officer's position fact sheet, association officers have additional obligations. The association officers who comprise the executive committee may meet Thursday evening before the June board meeting, attend Winter Leadership Conference, and meet an additional day immediately before the March board meeting. The Executive Committee also holds regular telephone meetings approximately once a month. Lastly, you can choose to participate in governance visits to Junior League. Donna? Let's look at the, now let's look at the Open Governance Committee positions. Currently, we are slating the Governance Vice Chair and four at-large members. You can refer to pages 23 and 24 of the instructions for more details. But the, govern, the Association Governance Committee is responsible for strategic recruitment of applicants and presenting qualified candidates for election to AJLI governance positions.
Again, you can refer to pages 23 and 24 in your application, but the work of the Governance Committee includes determining competencies and experience, ensuring a broad range of members are informed about available governance positions, and assessing which applicants best meet the organization's needs. The time commitment for the Governance Committee consists of bi-weekly full committee meetings via web slash conference call, bi-weekly work group meetings via conference call, in-person meeting at annual conference, in-person slating meeting in November, two to three day screening meeting via web or conference call, interviewing 10 hours weekly from mid-September through mid-November. The most time intensive period is from June to mid-November. Shuba Limbach, current at-large board member, says, I am currently grateful for my experience. It has provided me with the opportunity to contribute to an organization that has meant so much to me and from which I have learned so many leadership skills. I truly enjoy being able to be a small part of the work in continuing the Junior League as a vibrant, thriving leadership development organization that my daughter and her daughters will be a part of for generations to come. Daniel Wilberg, a Governance Committee at-large member 2013-2015, says, serving on the HLI Governance Committee has taught me how to find the strengths in everyone, how to give grace to others, and that there are incredibly talented and devoted women making a difference in communities all over the world. Resources for you to use include going onto the HLI website, You'll find information under the Governance Public Group Share page. The application is available on our website, as well as the referral forms. Any questions, please feel free to email us at AGLI underscore governance at AGLI.org. Again, this session is the second of two on-demand webinars. As a reminder, we will offer a live webinar at 8 p.m. on Tuesday, July 28, and the link to that session is available on the governance page and on the governance group share page. If you've got it, we want it. Thank you so much.